So this is Rickmansworth in Hertfordshire, where at the height of the Jack the Ripper killings in 1888, a scare hit the town. The first of three Ripper links to the town involved a travelling hawker called Frederick Chapman, who was arrested for being drunk and disorderly. He had become embroiled in a brawl with another intoxicated punter at the George pub in the town. But this ultimately turned out to be a false alarm. Another link involved the twisted killer Mary Piercy, a murderer who was suggested as a possible Jill the Ripper female suspect for the Ripper spree. In October 1890, Piercy horrifically murdered Phoebe Hogg and her baby, also called Phoebe, but known as Tiggy. Piercy was hanged in 1890 for the despicable double murder. The level of violence actually marked her out as a Ripper suspect in her own lifetime. On October the 24th, 1890, she lured Phoebe Hogg, along with her 18-month-old daughter, to her home. Shop neighbours heard screaming and sounds of violence at about 4pm. Later that evening, a woman's body was discovered on a rubbish heap in Hampstead, North London. Her skull had been crushed and her head was nearly severed from her body. A black pram was found around a mile away with blood-soaked cushions. The deceased were soon identified as Phoebe Hogg and her daughter. Police searched Piercy's house and were confronted with a nightmare scene of unimaginable carnage. There were blood spatters on the walls, the ceiling, a skirting board, an apron and elsewhere, and on a poker and a carving knife. When questioned by officers and in a Lady Macbeth-like daze, Twisted Piercy said she had a problem with mice and was trying to kill them. Sir Melville McNaughton, whose famous memorandum listed Ripper suspects, wrote that Piercy would later respond by chanting, Killing mice, killing mice, killing mice. Phoebe Hogg's ailing father lived in Rickmansworth and on finding his wife was out and not returned, Phoebe's husband, Frank, assumed her father's condition had worsened and she'd gone to visit him in the town and ended up staying over. He would soon discover the horrible truth. And the connections between Rickmansworth and Jack the Ripper do not end there. I'm at Chorleywood Road Cemetery in Rickmansworth, which contains the grave of an artist who was actually suspected of being Jack the Ripper and was pursued by a vigilante mob narrowly escaping with his life. The man was Star Wood, who is buried in the town. Wood was a self-taught satirical cartoonist who was set upon by a mob following one of the Ripper murders, most likely that of Catherine Eddowes in Mitre Square. The then 18-year-old escaped the melee and hid in a railway station until his pursuers had passed by. Wood was in the area and, intriguingly, may have been a witness to the murder. The artist died in 1944 and is buried in the pleasant Chorleywood Road Cemetery in Rickmansworth where his plot is marked with a large rectangular block with pallet motif carved into the rock. Inside the pallet reads the simple inscription In dear memory of Starwood, artist, 2nd of September 1944. For more information on Jack the Ripper, see my two books, The Inevitable Jack the Ripper and Jack the Ripper's County, which are out now on Amazon, and the links are in the description. That's all for this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and thanks for watching.